Hello friends, welcome to the third episode of Joomla 2.5 custom component development series. In the previous episode, we have seen how to create backend menu for our component as well as frontend menu for our component. So if I click on the backend menu, so we can see the backend PHP script is executing executed. Welcome to my backend component. And if I click on the frontend menu, so this is showing welcome to the frontend. So in this episode we will see how to use language file in your component. So what is the problem in our existing component? So let's check the ma menu. So here we can see uh, the menu name is com-mycom but what we have written in the installer file. So let's check our manifest file. So open with your editor. So as you can see uh, we have written my component but we are seeing com underscore mycom so why is it because uh, all the menu items should be uh, used Joomla language string but we have not used that's why so how can you um, see that uh, which portion is uh, uh, defined in the language string or not so global configuration debug language yes now double star within double star means this text is replaced by language file okay so if I click on that menu so here you can see all the titles are replaced by the language file but Joomla don't get our language file that's why the titles become like this so we have to create our language file so one more thing uh, so if you debug language one so you can th see here um, language file which language file loaded for this page so this is very useful for uh, debugging so let's save and close so we will use a language file in our extension so what is the advantage of language file so why will you use language file so suppose we want to create a uh, component uh, which can be translated uh, in any language so that's why we will specify our language file if someone needs our component in English British English so all the text will be converted to British English if someone needs in French so we will specify all the table field or table header name in French so the whole component will be changed so that's the reason we can use language file so how can we create language file so if you want to create language file then you have to follow some uh, basic rules like what will be the language uh, syntax name and where the language file will be located so um, inside Joomla okay let's I will show you so go to your Joomla installation folder maximize this little bit yeah now here you can see language so this is the front end language file so if you want to translate something uh, to the front end so your language file will be here here you can see various component module and plugins front end language file present okay so our language file also will placed here so let's um, view all the language file and for the administrative backend portion so the language file folder is located under administrator language engb so this is the british english language file now here uh, french make uh, contain another folder etc way uh, you can all the language file are stored in joomla so we will create our language file so I will show you the basic naming convention so the language file name should be looks like this language dot extension name dot ini so this is the language file so there are you have seen the three types of language file frontend language file and backend language file 
so you are thinking that two types language file no there is three for the front end we have this for the back end we have also this but for the back end we have some special language called system language sys.ini so this is the language file if you write some text like um, description actually the system language file will be loaded first so if you want to display this description menu menu so we will write all the language file information in this file because this will be loaded at first during installation update etc so the, uh, this is the three language file and then uh, how can you write language string in the file simply we will follow some key value structure key and what is the value so where uh, we want uh, output we will use the echo the key then Joomla automatically replace the value from our language file so how can we write so simply uh, in PHP like echo instead of echo you have to use the jtext and then pass your language string language string and one more thing uh, for language you should always use caps letter so suppose we want to define a welcome message so in language file you may write let's say we are defining in the front end of our component so our component name is com underscore my com so what should be the front end language file so front end language file will be suppose we are writing language for great british english so english great british dot our component com underscore my com dot ini so this is the front end so what will you write in the front end so let's say we write want to write welcome message so you can write like this welcome welcome to my front end component but what is the problem you should follow some naming convention so at first uh, append your extension name com underscore my comp otherwise it will mixed with the other extension file also so in this way you will define language file and never use small letter always use capital letter suppose you want to uh, you are creating a form you are defining some field level so you can define as like this com underscore my comp underscore level level underscore username so like this one and all for description you can display as username sc enter username also you can use like this one like field name underscore level so you can follow this one also description so in this way you will specify your key value in the language file so this is the basic introduction of language file now one more thing uh, if you want to include language file from other extension also you can do this but uh, I will show this in future lesson so let's create our language file close this one so for the language file uh, we need two language types one for front end another for back end so create a folder language G -U -L -N -G -U -G, language inside language create your folder like engb and now you have to create your language file so language file is engb dot com underscore my comp dot ini so this is the front end language file now we have to specify our back end language file so under administrator language language inside language create folder engb or if you are la using another language then you can write another one now here we will specify two one is normal language file backend and another is system so engb dot 
com underscore my comp dot ini this one and another is sys so you have to append sys dot ini so we have created now we will specify some language string so let's uh, specify the front back end at first so in the back end uh, we will simply specify the welcome message so we have to write all in capital letter so my comp underscore welcome welcome to my front end sorry back end back end okay so we have only one string we need and here we have to specify the component name so com underscore my com that is my com component and uh, here we will specify our menu so com underscore my com menu so copy this paste and my com menu ok now we can also specify the description in language file like this com underscore my com underscore des description so we will specify this because this will need at the installation time so we have to specify in the uh, system language file but if you are writing some uh, code in our page so we can use this language file so this will be loaded when the component will called like uh, we are clicking on my our component so our component is called so that time the uh, backend language file will be called but we are, on, we are calling it this time the frontend language file will be called but uh, look at here control panel uh, we have not called our component that time our system system ini will be called so we can um, translate this string so system language file be, will be called at the first time or at first the system language file will call so we have defined our language string um, so let's define for the language stream for the front end so we simply write one key let's paste welcome to my front end okay now we have defined our description or menu and component name of course now uh, we will use this string like uh, this one is for backend and this one is for frontend so we have to change our php file so let's go to the this is the frontend php file so here we want to echo that is string but using language file so echo j text and our language string so here is a language string copy paste yeah same thing we will do in the back end my component administrator components sorry replace this one so we have um, replaced because in back end we have defined this keyword key and this is the value so hopefully we have written everything well uh, no still uh, we have not uh, added our language file to manifest file so we have to um, include our language file in the manifest file so for this reason we have to create languages node languages languages now we have to specify like folder which folder this is the front end so front end language file is present language inside engb so folder will be language engb and we have only one language file sorry language tag is en sorry 
engb and the file is engb dot com underscore my com dot ini then gu language so we have defined this is the file and now we have to also define the backend language file so under administration node we have to create just copy paste and the backend language file is located under administrator language engb so we have just to append here administrator st administrator prepend so in the administrator panel uh, we need two language file so one is normal language file and that is sys dot ini yeah we have written something wrong here you can see the language file name this one this one com underscore my com dot sys dot ini and simply dot ini so languages folder okay we have defined the backend language okay now let's create the zip file and try to install episode 3 let's uninstall the previous one you can also override because we have used the upgrade method upload and install installation successful now here look at this my com component so this is replaced by language string so if you want to see check this so you can check this by global configuration debug language save now here component you can see the string is replaced by our component name mycom component ok and uh, if I click on that now here also you can see welcome to my backend this is also replaced by our language file so our language file is working fine now let's go to the front end and refresh this page so here also you can see welcome to my front end so we have successfully used language file in our component so this is the introduction or how to use language file in your component so if you have question any question just uh, comment below the video and please subscribe to my channel so in the previous lesson we will see uh, how to use controller in your component thank you